Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com. This next question is, what's RAID? What's the best RAID setup for a gaming rig? And how do you install it? Well, first of all, RAID stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disks or Redundant Array of Inexpensive Disks. And I'm going to be talking about two of the most common types of RAID in this video, RAID 0 and RAID 1. RAID 0 is a striped volume and data is evenly spread across two or more hard drives. This way, the load is shared across those hard drives and performance is really, really good. Now, RAID 1 is a mirrored volume and it's exactly what it sounds like. Basically, it's one hard drive backing up the other one. That is a fantastic one to go with if you want to have security. So you don't want to lose any data, go with that particular setup. Because, for example, if one hard drive fails, you can just pop in another one and all your data is safe. Capacity is the other issue. And if you have it a RAID 0 configuration and you have two 500 gigabyte hard drives, you're going to get one terabyte or 1,000 gigabytes. So 500 plus 500 equals 1,000. Now, the math doesn't equate the same in a RAID 1 configuration because if you have two 500 gigabyte hard drives, it's only going, only going to give you a capacity of 500 gigabytes because one drive is backed up. But it's the safest way to go. RAID 1, if you want performance, go with RAID 0. And RAID 0 might sound scary, but it's not. I've been using uh, RAID 0 configurations for years and I've never ever had a problem. Now the other factor to consider in a RAID 0 setup is the stripe size. 128 kilobytes is a pretty safe one to go with. If you have small file sizes, go with something lower than that. So how do you set it up? Well, you need to do so at boot up. And it's going to depend really on what, on what type of motherboard you have, uh, the keys that you press when you're booting up to get into your RAID controller. But go in there, uh, up on boot up, and go into your RAID controller and configure your RAID 0 configuration. Uh, the other thing too, of course, if you have um, you know, a PCI controller separate from the motherboard, then you need to do that, of course, during boot up as well. And once that's done, you need to install the latest drivers um, uh, for the Vista operating system. And it's very easily done. You can just dump those drivers on a USB drive and when Vista is ready uh, and asks for them, you can just direct Vista to search your USB drive and find those drivers. And believe me, uh, using RAID 0 over a single drive is amazing. Hope this answers your question. Keep your questions coming.